Hello BJD fans, I'm Venetica, and this is part one of my Doll Love Sweet Doll Female Body Review. Part one covers posing ability, part two covers aesthetics, it's a photo gallery with text commentary. If you'd like to check that out, the link is in my description. Our model here is Iwe, she's 44 centimeters, which is MSD size. As far as I know, this is Doll Love's only female MSD body. There is also a large chest variant. And for their first body, I think it's pretty well engineered. There are a few hiccups, which I'll get to. So let's start with her head cap. And this is the first issue that I have because her head cap just comes off way too easily. And especially when you're trying to put on a wig, if you put any kind of pressure up here, it'll come right off. So it's held on by three magnets and it's got these pieces, but it's just not enough. I do like this metal plate back here. So she has an S hook in there. The knot is located in her torso. What they did a little differently is that the hook comes up through the hole, but then it actually sits on an upper level, which is cool. I went ahead and suede her neck because even though her stringing is excellent, her head just kind of wanted to flop around, so to keep it straight where I wanted it, I went ahead and suede it. So she can move her head really far forward. can't really move it back, but she can move it side to side very well. So she has pretty good range there. I also went ahead and suede her shoulders because if you were to just lift up her arm, it would just fall right back when you let go. There's just not a friction there, so that's pretty typical. But other than that, it's fine. They did go ahead and taper it just a little bit here which allows her to touch her body there. Her elbows are double jointed, but the range isn't as good as you might think. So initially, you can only move it that far. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side because it's a little easier for me. Maybe it's because I'm left-handed, I don't know. But I'm going to try my best to show you this. There's a little groove there. You can even see it now. And you can force the arm in there, but you got to pull it out first. So. There we go. So then that's as far as you can get it. And it does look kind of strained, but that's got to be why that group is there. So still, you know, it's, it's not as close as you would like. But it's nice that you have the option. Move to her wrists. I really like the way they did her wrists. It's, uh, it has a cat piece in here, which fits into the hand piece, so it stays in place. Oh, there we go. So that's as far back as she can move it, but she can move it all the way forward, which is pretty nice. Of course, she can turn it. She has a torso joint, which isn't really useful because she can't move back at all. It'll just pop right back. She can only move it just a tiny bit forward, but doesn't want, really want to stay. The only thing you can really do with it is move it side to side, and it's only slightly. So, not very useful. I do really like her hip joints. Right away, when you put her in a sitting position, you can see that she sits nice and straight. She, There's no need for her to pop her torso forward anyway, so that's really good. She can move them in her hip sockets really easily. And that also allows her to do a split, which is really cool. I really like it when dolls can do that. That's so neat. She also has femoral joints, which allow her to turn her thighs wherever you want. So she really has a lot of mobility here. The only thing with that is that since it's not perfectly round here, when you turn it, it doesn't really line up. So it looks a little strange, but it's nice to be able to do that. 
her knees are double jointed. They have a peanut piece in there, so you can move it 90 degrees or all the way. So that is, that's good. This piece kind of juts out here, but other than that, it looks pretty good too. Her ankles do have a separate piece in there. But it's flat on the bottom, so it fits into the foot and stays in place. So initially, she can't move her foot back, and that's as far as forward as she can move it, which is still pretty good. But I noticed you can also do this, and I don't know if this is intended. But you can uh, move it back all the way, or forward all the way. She could do like a tiptoe pose. You can even do it the other way. But I don't know many people that can bend their foot back like that. And, of course, you can turn it. I was really impressed with the doll love body. I really think the promotional photos kind of downplay it. Which is a shame because it, it is, you know, it's pretty well engineered. Especially for the first body, like I mentioned. So that's it for part one. If you'd like to check out part two, the link is in my description. Thank you for watching.